The Bureau of Labor Statistics says farming is one of the most dangerous jobs in America. From operating heavy machinery to working around grain bins, the risk can be high. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Ariana Schumacher shares one man's story of how a daily task quickly turned into a life threatening situation. Pete Hansen expected March 6, 2020, to be like any other day on the farm. But his task of cleaning out grain bins quickly turned into a fight for his life. Well, I got up there and on top, and as the uh, grain was going down real slow in the center, I could hit that cake stuff when it started to poke out of the top. I could hit that with a shovel, break it up, and throw it off to the side to where it was going down and just go in with the rest of the grain. But then all at once it started to go, and I think that's first sump out unplugged. And that, like I say, that's right where I was standing about. And so things got, things changed real quick. Hansen found himself getting stuck in the grain. Luckily, he wasn't alone. My brother was in the bin with me, and he was over by the door. So when I yelled, uh, you know, I can't get out, well, then, of course, he, he started hollering at the guys that were outside running the augers. And it, only, it only took just a minute or so from me being up to my ankles in grain to where I was up to my, my neck. It's a scenario many rescue crews now train for. And so they called, uh, called for help. And of course, the different fire departments in the area showed up, and and uh, and they they cut holes in the bend and drained it down, and. Uh, got me out. When we arrive on scene, you know, it's, uh, again, you're trying to just take it step by step. Uh, you know, what other agencies are arriving with you? And, you know, just focusing on your patient and the condition that they are in, and then, you know, all the other different elements around it, and making sure that you're just taking it step by step, and try to get it done in a timely manner. Agtegra plays a key role in making sure rescue squads across the state are prepared to handle grain bin situations through hands-on training with a grain bin simulator. We're going to have somebody stand on top and then we'll turn the pit on underneath and then it'll take them down to the grates so they can't get hurt. And then we'll have the fire department come in with the rescue tubes to put around them, extricate them out of there, get them out safely. Just, it's, it's just a perfect live video of what happens with grain. So it's great to have hands-on experience, just that way you're prepared when uh, you have a situation like that. It's not only important for rescue crews to be prepared for these situations, but as farmers, it's important to take proper precautions before entering the bin. So if there's bridge grain or grain built up on the side, it could collapse and engulf you in it. Or you gotta make sure you check the air, test the air so that it's all good, has enough oxygen. If you have bad green, you'll have too much carbon monoxide or other poisons in there that you don't get enough oxygen. That's, you'll end up passing out and make sure you test the air on the bin all the time before you are in there or what, to wear it while you are in. It's important to have a safety plan because you can get sunk in in just a matter of seconds. Good thing for farmers is, you know, whenever you're going to enter a grain bin, make sure that you know the conditions inside. You know, know that if it's crusting or not, you know, if it's safe conditions, always have at least another person with you. Have a harness, have a rope system. That way, if you do get in trouble, you're able to be uh, freed from the grain bin, but never do it alone. Well, you need to have people around. I think it's a big thing. Uh, and people that know where the shutoffs are and how to run the, how to run the everything, uh, because it, when it happens, it can happen real quick. I mean, it's amazing how fast you can go down in there. <laughs> and then once you're in there, you're just like in concrete. You can't, you ain't going no further, but you're not coming out either. A scary situation that can happen to any farmer. No, all I can say is uh, you think it can't happen to me. Well, unfortunately, maybe you're smarter than I am, but uh, it, it, it can happen. With Ion Kebbeland, I'm Ariana Schumacher.
Purdue University reports that last year there were 29 grain entrapments across the U.S. 11 of those were fatal. You can see their full report of injuries and fatalities due to ag-confined spaces in this story on Kettleland.com.